To start a new drawing, click this AutoCAD icon, hover over new, click drawing, and select Akadiso 3D for metric units, and click open. And work on parallel projection. So we're going to start from top view. So bring your drawing to top view. Type L for line command. Click anywhere on the screen and bring your cursor upward for 830. And to your right for 830. And bring it downward for 500, which is from this point to this point. So 500 units. And just bring your line to your right, to your left rather, and click that uh, perpendicular point. Line again. Click that end point. Bring your cursor to the right for 500 units. And click that um, perpendicular point. Type TR for trim command. Enter twice and remove that line. Join the segments. So type J for join command. Enter and select the whole thing. Now this is one object. I'm going to offset this object for 25 units as shown here from this point to this point. So type O for offset command. Enter and enter 25. Select this object and click inside. I'm going to offset again for another 23 units which is here. So O for offset, so O, enter, and specify offset distance by typing 23. So click this object and click inside. Now I'm going to draw the basin. And the distance from here, from the bottom, oh no, from here actually, this one. Up to this point is 353 so what I'm gonna do is uh, draw a line so type L for line command and shift right click and select temporary track point and click this line bring your cursor upward for 353 and bring your drawing to or line to the left and click that uh, intersection. I'm gonna explode this object here. So type X for explode command. Trim. Remove this one. And extend. So X for extend and click this uh, line. Remove this one, delete that, and delete this one. Now I'm going to apply fillet, which is 80, as shown here. So go to home, select fillet, go down to the command prompt, click radius, and enter 80. Enter again, and click multiple option. And go to your drawing, click this first line, and click the second line, first line, second line, first line, second line, click this line, and click this line. I'm just going to join the segments. Now this is one object. I'm going to mirror this one. So type MI for mirror command, enter, select this object. And just use this one as your center point, the first point, and follow that green dash line, which is 135 degrees coming from the x axis here, which is also 45 degrees coming from the x axis in the second quadrant. So just follow that and click here, anywhere along this line, and select no. Um, before we proceed, make sure your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking, 
object snap tracking, object snap, and selection cycling. And uh, right click here, um, hover over that icon, polar tracking icon, and right click. And as you can see here, I uh, click the 45 degree setting. It's easier because most of our angles are in 45 degrees. All right. To draw these ones here, I'm just going to offset this object here for 13 units since the distance from this point to this point is 13. So type O for offset command, enter 13 and offset this one and click inside and draw a line from this point here to this point for 353.55 but first I have to do the fillet so fillet command go down to command prompt click radius option and enter 25 and go, go back to the command prompt and select multiple because the fillet here is 25 same here radius with 25 and then for this one is also 25 No, not that. This one here. Okay. I'm going to draw a line from this point here downward for 353.55. So click that midpoint and follow that 45 degree angle and enter 353.55 and move your drawing to your or the line and click that um, for 45 degrees. You can see that here, 45 and click this intersection and EX enter twice to extend click that all right next thing to do is trim so type tr for trim command trim this one we're just using that for guide Remove this line, then delete. Now let's divide this line into 19. So type divide, enter, select this object and enter the number of segments which is 19. It's hard to see the nodes here. See when I draw a line, see that um, node. So what I'm gonna do is um, type in DDP type to change the size of the node. I'm gonna select this one here and then change the size to 8%. Select OK. Well, that's too big, but it's OK. Now, copy this line. And from in point,
and select these lines. To mirror, and MI for mirror command, enter. And specify first point of mirror line. So this is going to be my mirror line here. Up to that point, and select no. Now I don't need that. I'm going to select that node, right click, and select similar objects then delete now trim command so type tr for trim command enter twice and I'm just gonna trim it from here select these lines here delete and then this one's here enter and enter again this ones I'm gonna delete. I'm just gonna turn off the grid. Delete. I don't need you anymore. There you go. Now trim again. So type TR for trim command. Enter twice. Remove this line. This line, now I'm going to apply fillet, which is five as shown here. So fillet from the ribbon and click radius and enter 5 enter and select multiple from the command line so select this one first line second line first line second line this line and this line first line second line First line, second line, this line and this line. I think we're done. Now the next thing to do is draw the circles, which is um, from here, the distance from the center up to here is 250, and from center up to here is 275. So what I'm going to do is draw a line somewhere here, and enter 250. So line, type L for line command, shift right click, and select temporary track points, and click this endpoint, and follow that line there, and select this uh, midpoint here, and then bring your cursor upward for 275. 
so this is gonna be the center of our circle so I'm just gonna move this one see this is 250 and this is 275 okay type C for circle command click this as midpoint type D for diameter option and enter wait the dimension is here all right again C for circle click this in point type D for diameter option and enter 54 right click to repeat circle look at center D for diameter option and enter 88.9 right click to repeat circle click this that center D for diameter option and enter 114.3 and I'm gonna copy or mirror that one. So type MI for mirror command. Enter. Specify first point of mirror line. So just click this uh, midpoint here and follow that uh, green dash, dash line. Just click anywhere along this line and select no. And delete all right what else okay now I'm gonna join the segments here oh it's all join all right that's good this one is join now this is one object now the other objects are not all together join so what I'm gonna do is type J for join command and just select the whole thing there you go yeah and this one too is one object and bring your drawing to southwest isometric and extrude the basins for 167 units select this one and this one and select extrude command from the ribbon bring your cursor downward and enter 167 and extrude this one downward just a little over 167 you can enter 500 400 I'm just gonna enter 200 gonna show you x-ray as you can see here I'm gonna extrude this one and the, the distance from the bottom to the top is 167 so this one I'm gonna extrude the difference of that is 10 units so use press pull command and just hover over this portion here and then bring upward left click and bring it upward for 10 units press pull again and press pull this ones here for five units bring your cursor upward by letting, letting go of your finger and then type five enter same process hover over left click let go bring your curs cursor upward for five units same process you can actually extrude all this stuff by press shift click this one click this one here click this one click this one let go right click and then bring your cursor up for five units there you go now I'm gonna use shaded with edges so subtract command from the ribbon click this object right click and select the object you want to remove so in this case the basins there you go 
Now we're going to apply fillet. So go to home, click solid, select fillet edge, go down to the command prompt, click radius and enter 3, enter, and select chain. Click this edge, this one, and then this edge here. If it won't work, select solid edge here. There you go. Enter twice. And for this one here, this is also three units. So fillet edge, click radius, enter to accept three units, and select chain, and click this edge, click this edge, this edge, and then this edge, select solid edge here from the selection because sometimes it just wouldn't work right away. And then this one. This edge. You have to click twice sometimes. And then this edge. Select solid edge. It's kind of slow. All right. And then this one too. Let's do this one first. Uh, come on. And then this one. And then this edge. Enter twice. There you go. I'm going to show you with realistic. So this is um, what happened. Now apply fillet edge for these edges here. And it is 8. So fillet edge again. Go down to the command line. Click radius and enter 8. Enter and select chain. Click this edge and this one here. Enter twice. And for the bottom, the radius for that is 40. So fillet edge again, radius is 40. Select so chain and click this edge and this one here enter twice all right now we can use the shell command oh no i'm gonna put the circle first the hole here okay forgot about that so bring this to top view I'm going to draw a guide which is 208.35 from this endpoint. So I'm just going to draw a line and uh, bring this to 2D. So type L for line command. Locate that midpoint. Follow the dash line which is 135 degrees coming from the positive x axis or 45 degrees coming from the second quadrant. So enter 208.35. Type C for circle command. Enter. Click that endpoint. And type D for diameter option. 
an integer to 5. Now bring your drawing to southwest isometric and change this to shaded with edges. Now select shell from the ribbon, click the object, don't click yet, go down to the command line and click add option and then click remove option to remove the face. So remove this face, this face, this face, this one. And then the bottom face. All right, click enter and enter two for the shell offset distance. Enter again. Just wait for a bit, it takes a while. And select exit. Now extrude this one upward. Anywhere here, and this one downward, and this one too. Select subtract command from the ribbon, click this object, right click, and remove the cylinders. I'm not gonna do the flange, just I think that's enough for now. I'm just gonna move this one. I don't want so delete that and change this to realistic. I'm gonna maximize this window. Untype materials. And click this uh, drop down arrow. I'm just selecting uh, metallic paint. And then select uh, oh, this one here. Okay, I'm just going to click this arrow here to bring it here. And then I'm just going to drag that and click the object. Okay, I'm just going to turn that off and then go down to visualize and um, adjust the lights. And I think we're done. I'm just going to show you the details here. And this one here. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for to get notified and see you again. Bye.